everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Organised You TV. My name is Jo and I'm a personal organiser based in Melbourne and my blog is full of lots of tips and tricks for getting organised around the home. You can find me over at theorganisedyou.com slash blog. So today I'm here helping a client organise her kitchen and the area that we're starting on is organising her food storage container collection lots of inspiration pictures for getting this area sorted. The main thing to remember when you're organising your food storage containers is to try and separate the lids and the containers and what I like to do is organise the containers either by size, so the largest at the back and then the smallest, or by shape, so grouping the squares, the rectangles and the circles together. And the reason that we do this is just because it makes it so much easier to find what you're looking for. And if the lids are separated as well by size or shape, you can really easily and quickly find what you're after without having to rummage through lots of different containers. So today I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to organise this area and hopefully you get some tips and tricks for organising um, your own storage container collection as well. So my client's food storage containers are all stacked on one shelf. Drawers are ideal because you can pull everything out and they're easy to access. Shelves are a little bit more tricky, so I'm going to show you how we're going to get around that today. So the first step is to remove every single item from the cupboard so that you can do a really good declutter and a purge. Get rid of any of those containers that don't have a matching lid or miscellaneous lids or just containers that are looking a bit past it. So that's what we're going to do first. And once everything's all emptied out, just give it a really good clean so that you're starting with a nice clean blank slate. So now that you've removed all of the containers from the space, it's time to work out which containers are going to stay and which are going to go. And the way that we're going to do that is to start sorting them by shape and as we go just work out uh, which ones we can actually get rid of. I can see just from looking at this pile that the circular ones are the smallest category, so I'm going to start with those. I'm just going to remove the lids as I go so that they're separated, but I can just check that every um, container does have a lid. So next I'm going to do the small rectangular and square. Next I'll do the larger rectangles. And then finally the squares. So in order to get this collection organised, um, I grabbed one of these containers which has got the four different compartments. So for the purposes of organising these containers, I'm actually going to remove two of these dividers and just have the two bigger sections. And the reason that I'm doing that is because the biggest categories here are squares and rectangular containers. We've actually got rid of um, a few of the circular ones that weren't used very often. So it means I can have those as my two categories. So in the back I'm going to put uh, squares. And there's some more sort of odd shaped ones that aren't used as often. And in the front I'm going to put these rectangular ones. So what this container will do is act as a drawer inside the shelf, so it'll just pull in and out really easily. So these containers are about $3 each from the hardware store, and I'm just going to separate the container lids with the squares, the circular in one, and then the rectangles in the other. Then all we have to do is pop on a label and it makes it really easy to find exactly what you need. So on this side we've got all the rectangular lids, so they can all be easily found there. On this side we've got the square and round lids. And just behind those are the larger rectangular containers. 
And on this side we've got this makeshift pull-out drawer. So you just pull that out and all the containers are there ready to grab. So we've got rectangles at the front because they're the ones that are used most often. And then the squares at the back. So whether you've got shelves or cupboards in your kitchen, there's an easy solution for it. The best place to start would be your local dollar store or hardware store and just look for some cheap baskets that are going to divide your containers and lids into easy categories. The main thing that you're trying to accomplish in organising your containers is to make them easy to find, easy to maintain and easy to access. You can find more organising ideas and inspiration over at theorganisedyou.com and I'll see you next time on The Organised You TV. Bye.